Around 300 million people worldwide are estimated to experience depression. And a similar number of people are thought to live with anxiety. The numbers could definitely be higher as many do not seek treatment. In the United Kingdom, magic mushrooms are set to become the ultimate weapon against depression. Magic mushrooms are psychedelic drugs. They are also known as hallucinogens and a group of substances that are usually used recreationally to change and enhance sensory perceptions. They were used in psychotherapy in the 1960s, but were halted for mainly political reasons. However, in the last few years, psychological research has revived the use of psychedelics for treatment. They are reappearing in psychiatry as a viable way to treat anxiety, depression, post-traumatic stress disorder and more. In the United Kingdom now, a wave of companies has been approved to test psychedelic therapies under new rules drawn up following Brexit. Scientists say the use of psychedelic drugs to treat conditions like depression could become a standard treatment within five years, with hopes that major strides can be made from just one session of psychedelic-assisted therapy. And trials are underway using short-acting drugs that give the patients a 20-minute psychedelic, psychedelic experience, which includes hallucinations followed by a two-hour therapy session. Experts said the approach appears to reset the networks in the brain, helping to end ingrained negative patterns of thought and making patients far more receptive to therapy. In fact, early-stage studies saying that psychedelic drug psilocybin found in magic mushrooms is as good as reducing symptoms of depression as conventional treatment. In a study of adults with long-term history of depression, two doses of this combined with therapy led to large, stable and enduring antidepressant effects. British company Small Pharma is leading the world's first regulated clinical trial which combines magic mushrooms with psychotherapy with uh, the trials which are due to uh, report their findings within months involve 42 patients with the condition and follow a phase one trial in healthy volunteers. The list of psychedelics is long. Several studies over recent years have shown breathtaking results for not just depression and PTSD, but also anorexia and migraines. However, the right way to bring these drugs to most people still remains a major debate around the world. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.